folks, welcome back. Uh, Joe, Seattle Coffee Gear, uh, not Portland. Uh, espresso. So we're going to brew some coffee, uh, well, espresso, and it will not take 30 seconds. It will take longer and it will be delicious. So sit back, let your mind be blown, and uh, I'm going to taste this. So yeah, have fun. <laughs> So as I'm grinding my coffee, I'm not just filling my portafilter with coffee. Uh, I'm looking for clumps, seeing where there's more or less coffee, and I'm doing my best to control the density, to give myself as even a grounds bed as possible, because that will make my extraction taste better. Uh, the Ranchilio is a great grinder. It's a little clumpy, uh, so you just need to take your non-standard coffee manipulation tool and break apart some of those grinds. Uh, if it's for yourself, if you're making coffee for other people and they're like, ew, fingers in my food, grind into a cup, take a little fork, a knife, uh, skewer something and just break those apart. I'm also weighing my coffee as I go. Uh, this particular portafilter is a 16 gram portafilter basket. So we're looking at filling 16 grams. And I of course didn't tear out my portafilter. It weighs 592 grams. Great, we're at 12. Always tear out your portafilter. Then you don't have to do math when you haven't had any coffee. Once again, give yourself as flat of a grounds bed as possible. Take your time on this. This is where the magic of the extraction happens. If you have a massive mound, change your grind size. Put less coffee in the portafilter. Do what you can to make sure it's even. When you go to tamp, once again, you're not looking at hulking through it. You are really looking to just squeeze the air out of the way. Uh, if we were to put this into the group head and extract a shot, arguably the timing would be right and it would be pretty decent. However, if we do it again, that pressure, that water is going to interact differently with the next round of ground coffee, which will mean we get a different extraction. So that's where tamping comes in handy. It's giving us an even grounds bed that's allowing our water and our coffee to interact the same way. I'm not pressing hard. I'm really just pushing down until I feel it push back. I'm not polishing. I'm not rocking. I'm not trying to pull it out at an angle. I'm just pushing down making sure that we're level, lifting right up. Coffee goes in our portafilter. We take our handy dandy skinny scale, tear out our measuring device, and once again, we're not worrying about time. I'm going to stop this at 36 grams of coffee, which probably will take around 40 seconds. Um. Yes. All right, and here's where I don't make a mess, at least any more than usual. That was 36 grams. I'm okay with making messes. It's part of my job and it's a lot of fun. Uh, timing didn't matter. We were following a recipe of taste. Um, 
And that one in particular is really nice and nutty. It's got a, a sweet brightness. Um, the Quattro says that it's sweet, nutty aroma, cocoa and graham cracker. Uh, and you do get a lot of that. If I wanted to make it more heavily bodied, I could change my grind size. I could try up dosing, but really I want to try to lock in as many variables as possible so that all I'm changing is one thing and quantifying those results. In this case, my grind size is what I was changing. My dosage and my extraction time, well, my grind size changes my extraction time. My dosage and the amount of coffee I was looking at are what I kept solid. And uh, yeah, it's just fun to play around. Um, and it really takes your espresso to the next level when you stop worrying about the timing. Cheers.